Um, so I wanted to give some insights into an article type that's published on the F1000 research publishing platform that allows authors to describe any new software they develop that supports them in conducting their research. So unlike a standard research article, software tools articles aren't asking the author to describe their hypothesis or their methods and the results. Um, they allow authors to describe the context for their software, why it was developed, details of the code, any inputs and outputs, and then tips for future users. Um, obviously, F1000 research is not unique in allowing authors to publish this type of article. There's lots of journals where you can do that. So I thought it might be more interesting to have a look at the impact that some of these articles have made. Um, so the article type was launched in 2013, and since then we've published 367 of them. Um, you can see in the graphic on the top left, um, uh, we have the number of peer review reports that have been submitted. So it is dependent on how many peer reviewers the author themselves invites. Um, but on average, we have three peer review uh, reports per article. And then on the top uh, right, <laughs> sorry, you can see we've now got 279 of these indexed. So these are only indexed once they've passed peer review. Um, on average, our uh, software tools articles have been viewed 2000 times, so we've had um, over a quarter of a million views in total. And to put that in context, it's about twice the average views compared to a standard research article on F1000 research. Um, there are also some that have been very highly cited and highly viewed. Um, so you can see at the bottom, we have one that's been viewed over 72,000 times with over 700 citations. Um, so I hope that that demonstrates the impact that that type of article can have. Thank you.